how do salespeople talk themselves out of sales every single day in the world of sales? I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. It's August 20th, 2017, 1246 in the afternoon here in Sacramento, California. Perfect day to talk about how salespeople talk themselves right out of sales in video number three. And you know, this happens a lot is the salesperson decides that they want to sell what they would buy. Now you got to know that people do sell how they buy or you buy how you sell. There's tons of different ways to say it. But if you're making the buying decision and you're saying this is the one that I want you to buy because one, it gives better commission or two, it's the one that I would buy because it's got all the bells and whistles or because it's the cheapest, whatever the reason is, you're going to talk around whatever you want as a purchase and not what the buyer wants as a purchase. And you really do need to pay attention to this. You really do need to work on your sales presentation skills and building an agenda with the buyer and asking the good questions and asking the criteria and going off of the buyer's criteria instead of your own. And you will, I have done this. My name's Scott, I have done this. I have talked people out of sales because I talked them into what I would buy, not versus what they would need, okay? So salespeople do this every day. It happens in every industry. And you can talk yourself because you're not speaking the same language. You could go into I mode. This is what I would do. This is the one that I would want. This is the one that I would buy. This is what I would do, right? And instead of you, this is the best one for you. This is the one best one for your criteria. This is the best one for what you need to get. This is the best one for the situation that you explained to me, right? And because the buyer's like, why do I care about what you want? Why do I care about what you would pick? Right? They might ask you. That's a different story. If the buyer says, you know, well, which one would you do? That's a different story. But if your whole presentation is, this is the one that I would do, and this is the one that I would buy, and this is the one that I would get, not good. You will talk yourself out of a sale every single time. It'll create some challenges. It'll create some problems for you. It will not end good. You're going to either get, I want to think about it, or I'm getting other bids, and that person's going to walk away and buy from somebody else who pays attention to them and listens to what they have to say. So there you go. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story. That'd be fantastic. To the right, to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you got to do. You got to subscribe. And then after all that, you can send it out to all your friends via Stumble Upon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Silverman Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.